Okay, it's day 95. I'm teaching myself to code from home and I'm currently working through CS50, which is an online course from Harvard University. Let me show you some of the homework problems that I've been working through. So as I said in my last video, I was working on this program which tells the user the minimum amount of coins that a customer should receive if you're giving them change. And I managed to convert it to C, uh, which is this program here. So if we run it, I can show you what I mean. So for example, if the customer was owed 47 cents, the minimum amount of coins you should be giving them is five. And I submitted that and with that I've completed week one now, which means two weeks of complete in total. Then I did decide to have a go at credit, which was the more difficult of the two challenges. But instead of trying to do it in C, which I'm still not feeling 100% familiar with, I decided to do it in JavaScript and it took me a few hours, but I managed to do it in the end and it was really satisfying because it's the most complex thing I've done so far because I'll show you what you have to do. Um, basically, all credit cards um, can be tested with this checksum which someone at IBM came up with ages ago, but it's fairly complex. What you have to do is take every other digit working backwards um, from the second to last digit, multiply them by two, and then add the digits of those products, then add the numbers in between that you didn't check for before, and if you get a number ending in zero, then it's a legit credit card or debit card. And also, it wanted us to check for whether it was MasterCard, American Express or Visa, and these different cards start with different numbers. So there was a lot going on, but um, in the end, I did manage to do it. I don't know whether this solution is exactly what the course people were looking for, because I used arrays, which they haven't even mentioned yet, and I used some JavaScript functions like length, which I'm not sure whether C has. Anyway, I'm going to try putting it into C now, so I guess we'll find out whether it works. 